shaping that little bit of wing there and all that's left on it now are difficult to see tiny little pit marks all over it so we're going to put some filler on them and hopefully then that is it that massive big hole there we need to fill that in and um, once we've done that we need to spray it over with some undercoat and there's the uh, left hand wing needs rubbing down and refilling again it's just like I don't know how many days I've spent now on this body but must be running into weeks really I thought it might be interesting to start taking this uh, engine apart to check out what's going on with it if anything one of the reasons we are taking it apart is because when I bought the car I could see this here, now these are valve springs these are tappets or something like that so if they've been taken out there's no way the engine's going to run so we better check it out before we start messing with it. it came off easy enough dry as a bone, there's no water in it at all so we don't lose it and this one there we go look at that it's not very good is it for a water pipe now the petrol pipe oh. That's the uh, accelerator or throttle linkage there, so that's got to come undone. There we are, that's the most difficult nut there to try and get off. I've loosened it up now, as you can see there, but very awkward to get to. Right, there it is. Interesting to see if it's got any petrol in. No. Just rust. Makes me wonder what we've actually bought here, whether it will ever go or not. Ooh, well, there's a slight sign of petrol there, so that means it has gone at one time. Here's the distribution now. I'm just going to take all these leads out because we'll be replacing them. Take that off. That's the rotor arm. Don't look too bad. And the points they'll be coming off too so we might as well take them off now. Should just lift out now like that and do that little connection that goes to the condenser. Just take that little condenser off as well because we'll be getting new of that. Just some screws off the side there. Yeah, okay, that should just pull out.
clean it is. Look how clean it is in there. Actually, it looks in superb condition. The only thing is there's no oil in it, of course. But over the years, the oil must have just sunk right down to the bottom. Which it would do. Gasket's gone there, I'll have to go into the gasket. That's the least of my problems. But I can see that all the valves are in there and everything, so they must have been messing about, but put it back together properly, so. I'm also gonna take off this um, exhaust. I want to paint it and clean it up anyway. No, that's a good one, that's busted. They're always busted for some reason. Always that front one there. Load exhaust. Anyway, I'm taking that pipe off. But we can lift it out this way. And that code on the engine is completely baffling me because it doesn't seem to refer to anything. HM there is, which is a 1987, but 70 or 7. And those are codes, we don't know where they are. It says 18, 21, that says 20. So I don't know if it's a two litre or what, I think it is, but um, 